for their efforts to safeguard freedom of expression, which is a precondition for democracy and lasting peace. Two journalists whose work has angered authorities in Russia and the Philippines are now the winners of the Nobel Peace Prize. That was the announcement by the Nobel Committee in Norway. Maria Ressa is the co-founder of Rappler, a digital media company which has launched investigations into the controversial and large-scale killings during the Philippines' war on drugs. Dmitry Muratov is the editor-in-chief of Russia's investigative newspaper Novaya Gazeta, which has defied the Kremlin with its corruption reporting and extensive coverage of the conflict in Ukraine. This was Ressa just moments after she learned the news. A world without facts means a world without truth and trust. And if you don't have any of those things, you certainly can't conquer coronavirus. You can't conquer uh, climate change. I've, I've been saying this all over and over. And over. It's a shock. But the fact that, that, that a journalist from the Philippines and a journalist from Russia won the Nobel Peace Prize tells you about the state of the world today and the state of the Philippines. Muratov, the day before winning the prize, told Reuters the following. Those who repress Russian journalism think they have a powerful ally, Russian law enforcement agencies and authorities. For 15 years, they couldn't solve the murder. It probably means that they know but didn't want to tell. He was referring to the murders of a journalist with his paper and a human rights activist in 2006 and 2009. The Kremlins congratulated Muratov on the win, despite his paper's criticism of President Putin and the Russian government. A Kremlin spokesperson says Muratov is devoted to his ideals and a talented and brave journalist.